a grateful universe. Because you won't be alive to tell them. <laughs> Welcome to Night News. Before we begin, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. In 2018, 23 days after Thanos wiped out half of all life on Earth, Tony Stark, Nebula, Carol Danvers, the surviving Avengers, Bruce Banner, Steve Rogers, Thor, Natasha Romanoff, and James Rhodes, and Rocket are brought back to Earth after Carol Danvers saves them from the depths of space. When they find Thanos on a world with no life, they want to use the Infinity Stones to stop him but they soon learn that he has already destroyed them. Thor beheads Thanos in a fit of anger. Scott Lang leaves the Quantum Realm five years later. When he arrives to the Avengers compound, he reveals that his time was only stuck for five hours. They seek a hesitant Stark for assistance in retrieving the stones from the past in order to stop Thanos' actions in the present, believing that the Quantum Realm permits time travel. The time machine is created by Stark, Rocket, and Banner, who has subsequently combined his intellect with the might of the Hulk. According to Banner, Changing the past does not influence the present since any changes lead to new realities. Traveling to Norway, Banner and Rocket stop by the Asgardian refugee community known as New Asgard, where they meet an overweight and depressed Thor. Clint Barton, who turned vigilante after his family was destroyed as part of Thanos' plot, is one among the people Romanoff recruits in Tokyo. During Loki's assault in 2012, Banner, Lang, Rogers, and Stark time travel to New York City. Banner persuades the Ancient One to grant him the Time Stone in the Sanctum Sanctorum by promising to deliver the other stones to their correct locations in time. Rogers rescues the Mind Stone from Hydra sleeper operatives at Stark Tower, but Stark and Lang are unsuccessful in stealing the Space Stone, enabling 2012 Loki to flee with it. In 1970, Rogers and Stark visit Camp Lehigh, where Stark finds his father, Howard, and acquires an older version of the Space Stone. In order to go back in time, Rogers takes Pym particles from Hank Pym. He also spots Peggy Carter, his former love. While Jane Foster is being extracted of the reality stone by Rocket, Thor is receiving support from his mother, Frigga, and retrieving his old hammer, Mjolnir, in Asgard in 2013. Traveling to 2014, Barton, Romanoff, Nebula, and Rhodes grab the power stone before Peter Quill can by going to Morag, while Barton and Romanoff head to Vormir. Red Skull, the guardian of the Soul Stone, says that sacrificing a loved one is the only way to get it. Romanoff makes a self-sacrifice so that Barton might get the stone. When Nebula's cybernetic implants connect with her former self, she becomes unconscious and Rhodes and Nebula are unable to go back in time. This allows 2014 Thanos to learn of his future self-success and the Avengers' effort to reverse it. 2014 Nebula is sent ahead by 2014 Thanos in order to be ready for his arrival. When the Avengers get back together in the present, they put the stones into a gauntlet that Stark, Banner, and Rocket had created. Banner uses the gauntlet to stop Thanos from disintegrating since he is most resistant to their radiation. When 2014 Thanos and his battleship are brought to the present, he uses them to destroy the Avengers' compound. In the meanwhile, 2014 Nebula, acting as her future self, uses the time machine to return them to the past. However, 2014 Nebula is unable to persuade 2014 Gamora to turn on Thanos and is killed by the present-day Nebula. Stark, Thor, and a Rogers brandishing a Mjolnir are defeated by Thanos, who then calls his army to take the stones in order to use them to end the universe and start a new one. To confront Thanos's army, a revived Stephen Strange shows up along with other sorcerers, the Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy, the Ravagers, and the forces of Wakanda and Asgard. Danvers shows there as well and obliterates Thanos' battleship, but the villain overcomes her and grabs the gauntlet. Stark takes the stones and sacrifices his life to use them to destroy Thanos and his army. Thor names Valkyrie the new ruler of New Asgard after Stark's burial, and she subsequently enlists in the Guardians. While staying in the past to live with Carter, Rogers restores the stones and Mjolnir to their correct eras. Sam Wilson receives his shield from an old Rogers. Based on 556 reviews, the review aggregate Rotten Tomatoes reported a 94% approval rating and an 8. 2 tenths average rating. According to the website's critical consensus, exciting, entertaining, and emotionally impactful, Avengers, Endgame does whatever it takes to deliver a satisfying finale to Marvel's epic Infinity Saga. A weighted average review site called Metacritic gave the movie a score of 78 out of 100, which it interprets as generally favorable reviews from 57 reviewers. After the Avengers and Black Panther, 2018, audiences surveyed by CinemaScore awarded the movie a rare A-plus grade on a scale from A-plus to F, 
while those surveyed by Post Track gave the movie 5 out of 5 stars and an 85% definite recommend rating. Glenn Weldon reviewed the movie favorably for NPR and thought it was a worthy follow up to its predecessor, saying, The Russo's decision to stick close to the experiences of the remaining Avengers proves to be a rewarding one, as they've expressly constructed the film as an extended victory lap for the Marvel Cinematic Universe writ large. Do you have a favorite character from any Marvel film over the previous 10 years, regardless of how unimportant? Fan, get ready to get serviced. The movie received a score of four fifth stars from Peter Travers in his Rolling Stone review, adding, You don't have to make jokes about the cliched time travel plot, the film is ready, willing, and able to make its own, with Back to the Future coming in for a serious ribbing. In his review of Infinity War, Variety's Peter de Bruges said, After the must see showdown that was Infinity War, the Russo brothers deliver a more fan facing three hour follow up, rewarding loyalty to Marvel Cinematic Universe. According to Pop Matters J. R. Kinnard, big budget action filmmaking doesn't get much better than this. W. Hat comes across most strongly here, oddly enough, for an effects driven comic book derived film, is the character acting, especially from Downey, Ruffalo, Evans, Hemsworth, Brolin, and Paul Rudd, said Todd McCarthy of The Hollywood Reporter. The Chicago Sun Times Richard Roper gave the movie four out of five stars and praised its emotional punch funny, well paced, smart. Expertly rendered screenplay by Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely, crisp direction from Anthony Russo and Joe Russo, and the universally stellar performances. The film received a favorable but circumspect review from A.O. Scott of the New York Times, who said, Endgame is a monument to adequacy, a fitting conclusion to an industry that figured out how to be good enough for enough people enough of the time. However, Disney and Marvel are continually ironing out fresh kinks in the time money continuum, so it's not truly over. However, the Russos do provide the impression of an end, giving us time to appreciate what has been accomplished before the timelines reset and we all start again. Avengers, Endgame achieves and earns its climactic surge of feeling, even as it falls just short of real catharsis, according to Justin Chang of the Los Angeles Times. Some people have praised Endgame as a significant improvement over Avengers, Infinity War, saying that it is a more patient, focused film, than Infinity War, even though its plot draws in elements of a dozen other movies. Brian Tallarico of RogerEbert.com made a similar observation. The movie received a favorable review from Matt Zoller Zeitz of RogerEbert.com in contrast to Infinity War, which he found to be too crowded, too rushed, and yet too long. According to Zeitz, Endgame is a heartfelt and satisfying experience that also has a surprisingly relaxed, character-driven, self-aware yet sincere comedy, for, two-thirds, of the movie, according to Zeitz. The majority of the narrative makes reference to a superhero film by Richard Linklater that is relaxed. The climactic fight was inevitably unwieldy, but thrilling all the same, and was followed by a delicate coda, according to Joe Morgenstern of the Wall Street Journal, who recognized the special accomplishment that Avengers Endgame performed as the finale of the Infinity Saga. Numerous tales. So many journeys. There is so much to resolve before the next cycle begins. The New Yorker writer Richard Brody was more critical of the movie, stating that the competent direction did not match the excellent performances. The Russos, according to him, have peculiarly little sense of visual pleasure, little sense of beauty, little sense of metaphor, little aptitude for texture or composition. Their spectacular conceit is purely one of scale, which explains why their best moments are quiet and dramatic. The one thing you do need to know about Avengers, Endgame is that it runs for a little over three hours, and that you can easily duck out during the middle hour, do some shopping, and slip back into your seat for the climax. Anthony Lane of The New Yorker gave the movie a compromising review, finding it to be overdeveloped and overwrought. Nothing will have been overlooked by you.